So illness, um, what we talked about during Herbal First Aid Foundations was injuries primarily, and now we're moving into the realm of minor illness, which is a little different. Um, so I've collected some issues that you might regularly encounter that you can provide first aid to soothe or support. Um, but oftentimes illnesses are part of a larger, more complex issue in someone's life. So it's just to, again, to always reiterate that it's really important to know your scope and when, for example, to suggest maybe someone could work with a clinical herbalist if they or some other kind of care provider um, if they really want to resolve, like, for example, a recurrent minor illness like menstrual cramps. Um, so moving into menstrual cramps, people who regularly experience painful cramps and menstrual discomfort might have a hormonal imbalance, which is why they might benefit from clinical attention and why they might have persistent cramps um, despite that. I apologize if you all can hear uh, the uh, leaf blower right outside my house right now. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, so some red flags for menstrual cramps though are sudden severe abdominal or pelvic pain, as well as pain with fever or vomiting. If you have these signs and symptoms or those of shock, um, physical shock specifically, which is different than emotional shock, um, physical shock, some signs and symptoms are cold, clamminess um, of the skin, rapid breathing, lightheadedness, weakness, um, I would recommend seeking higher care. Um, and then also just to acknowledge that discussion of ovarian cysts, ovarian torsion, and endometriosis are beyond the scope of this section right now. Um, in general, for well, all those stipulations said, um, I always have cramp bark and ginger in my kit for acute support for menstrual cramps. I, um, I also, I used to have a supply, I need to remake it, of uh, an old, old recipe called Hayden's Viburnum Compound, um, which you can, you can find variations of that recipe online really easily. Hayden, the, is, the first word is a name. Um, I'll just write it in the chat box right now. And uh, viburnum, I don't know if anyone remembers, but viburnum is the Latin genus for cramp bark. Um, so that's the clue that cramp bark is a main component of that formula. It also contains wild yam, cloves, cinnamon, and skullcap. Um, and I really find that that tincture served in hot water is especially useful for many people. Um, and Cramp bark on its own is, is useful, especially for sharp, bearing down, pushing kinds of menstrual pains. Uh, it, it does combine really well with skull cap, um, especially if someone's like really agitated in addition to feeling lots of pain. And in general with cramp bark, I recommend starting with low doses and then working up. It's really individual. Um, maybe someone here has experience with cramp bark dosing on with themselves and would be willing to talk about it. But generally, um, with all plant medicines, I recommend just finding the lowest effective dose for you so that um, you can respect the plants um, and also make it last longer. It's more cost effective for you too. Uh, and for some reason with pain, it's a little bit unexpected, but sometimes lower doses are stronger than higher doses of herbal medicine. So um, I really encourage you not to underestimate low doses of cramp bark as like potentially cramp alleviating. And some other basic guidelines for menstrual cramps, hot water bottles are really great. It can also be nice to make your own cramp balm um, for people, which you would massage gently around the cramping area and then put the hot water bottle on top. So some oils that you could infuse um, with specific herbs um, to make a cramp balm would be like, not the oils, the herbs that you would use in the oils are motherwort, ginger, cramp bark, roses, and arnica. We can use arnica for this because it's a, clo a closed wound kind of situation. Um, you can also use a ginger plaster or a poultice. I talked a little bit during the Materia Medica about a way to do a poultice. You could definitely put this over that area. Um, and Thanks for watching. I'm Bruna Morshaw of Well Deep Remedies. Leave a comment below about what you learned from this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the caption for a link to sign up for my mailing list for more free educational content from me, a disabled femme clinical herbalist. The Herbal First Aid class handouts that accompany these videos are also linked in the caption and available for purchase. 
Visit WellDeepRemedies.com for more. Thank you, and ta-ta for now. Bye.